What's up guys and welcome to my page. My name is Michael Perryman. I'm a photographer. I'm a videographer. Um, I'm going to bring you guys into my world a little bit. Um, on this page you're going to see a lot of things behind the scenes. I do a lot of stuff like shooting music videos. I do a lot of photography so I do a lot of photo shoots. And sometimes you'll just get a vlog of me in my regular life talking trash I guess. Um, and then of course we'll talk about some gear. Maybe uh, you learn something along the way. So when you're committing to starting a vlog, the first thing you do is you run out and buy a camera. Um, obviously as a photographer and a videographer, I've already had the cameras that I use. Um, I'm shooting right now on a Sony a6300. It's got a Sony 35mm 1.8. You can see that combination is dope. You can see when I lift that hand up, you can see how quick that can focus. And that's on an older body in the Sony a6300. My main camera is the Sony a7 III, tried and true. Uh, I love this thing ever since I got this thing. It pretty much changed my whole life when it came to photography. It wasn't my first mirrorless, but it is the best mirrorless for me. The number one pitfall to that 6300 was always, but we all know, the battery. I was doing a shoot, I remember I was doing a shoot for MIT, an important institution in Boston, Massachusetts, and my battery's dying, right? I'm scared to tell everybody, but it's true. Um, I'm in the middle of a big paid gig with a client and my battery is about to die. Second, overheating. That camera, this camera, does have a serious overheating problem. Sorry, Sony. I love Sony. All my cameras are Sony. Um, but you, you couldn't trust it. it. It gave you great, great, beautiful looking content, but you couldn't trust it in the end. So I went out and I bought this. This baby right here. Bang, you see that? Yeah, that's dope, right? Yes, it's clean. Sony A6600. I love this camera. I mean, it's pretty much my A7 III in a smaller body. Obviously, it doesn't have a full frame sensor um, like the A7 III does. If you know what you're doing, you can get professional quality content out of this thing right here. It's got everything you need, um, even professional features. This one has a headphone jack. That's dope. You're out. You want to monitor your audio. Bzzz. Bzzz. Being able to monitor your stuff live in the field, know what you're going to get, believe me, that's a huge plus for a camera like this. Image stabilization, right? 6300 is dope. I usually have to use it on a gimbal if I'm out and about because it doesn't have stabilization. This puppy right here, image stabilization, dope. Shooting a music video, you know you want to get some parts handheld, you're running and gunning, you feel good, you got image stabilization. And I'm using a Sigma 16mm, that's pretty much my go-to lens on this, it's an equivalent to a 24mm, which is a great focal length when it comes to street photography, shooting videos of all sorts, music videos, definitely. Obviously I'm all happy, I want to play with my new toy, so I told the family, let's go play with it. So we went out, went to Atlantic Station in Atlanta, took the fam with me, and we had some fun. Take a look. What's good guys? It's the first day out with my new camera, Sony 6600. We're gonna take a look and see if this is the vlogging camera of everybody's dreams. I got the Sigma 16 millimeter on it. Got the family behind me. We're in Atlantic Station. Let's get Are it. You vlogging? Yeah, I am. <laughs> There really isn't any need to have a 1.4 aperture if you're not going to get some dope low light photography, videography, whatever it may be. We're out here, Atlantic Station, Atlanta, nighttime's falling. You can see it behind me and you see how that 16 is still holding up. It's dope. Let's get it. I just wanted to take some time and talk about following through with your dreams, you know? I've been thinking about starting a vlog for like 
two, three, four years and I've never done it. Today's the first day I actually woke up today. I felt terrible and I called off. I called off work and I, was, I wasn't happy. And I was like, what is it that you want to do? And then I just decided to pick up my camera. I decided to walk around. I decided to finally, you know, take that plunge and make that vlog. So if you're sitting around, if you're a photographer, a videographer, a creator of any sort and you're contemplating what you want to do, call off take that chance all right so we went out to Atlantic Station in Atlanta we had some fun um, I came back I was able to spend some time with the footage and there's a few pros and a few cons obviously about my beautiful new camera if you want to buy this camera the first thing you want to know is why should I not buy this camera and I'm hip to that right so let's talk about that first um, the first one and I can't blame the camera because the autofocus on this camera is just so dope, but I probably have to blame the Sigma for this one is some of the times when I was walking and I was vlogging like this, um, even with no other face in the frame, the camera was missing me and I was getting some footage that was pretty unusable. That was disappointing, you know? Um, the footage that it did catch me on was crispy clean. I'm talking about pretty. Uh, that goes for both the camera and that goes for the lens. The Sigma produces, like I said, some magnificent images. Um, but every once in a while, it would miss me. And then the image stabilization. It, it's image stabilized and I had it uh, with a little tripod, this puppy right here. I had this right on the bottom, just like that. And I'm doing your traditional walk around your tripod vlogging sort of setup. Um, but I had some shakes and I had some things that I would have thought something that is image stabilized uh would have been able to fix obviously those are things you can pay attention to in post um and also if you combine this camera probably with a, a sony lens that's already image stabilized that combination may probably produce some better quality content but overall if you know what you're doing with this setup right here this is a perfect combination for a running gun camera perfect combination for a vlogger i mean you've got your flip up screen you'll be able to set and frame your image and still be able to see it you want to take a selfie boom goes the dynamite flip up screen is great on this camera right here quality of your video great um the last thing that i'm going to say that was a con on this camera was low light so i took a look at this footage and though the footage looked great especially when you're looking at it on the viewfinder when i blew it up when i put it back there on the macbook pro it started to get pretty grainy um so the first thing i did is i ran into the settings and I set it so my ISO never got over 6400. Unfortunately, I hadn't done that the first day I went out. I do suggest you doing that as soon as you get it. Go into your settings, go to ISO. Don't let it get above 10,000 for some if you're not using it for professional use. 6400 if you are using it for professional use. Believe me, I highly recommend that. That's one of the first things you should do when you get one of these cameras. Pros, everything that I expected, it did. High quality video, small, compact, sleek. It's got the new battery and grip. Have I not talked about the battery and grip? If I don't talk about the battery and grip, I'm doing it a disservice. I'm doing it an injustice. The main selling point is probably the battery and the grip. This camera here has the same battery that my a7 III has. I only have three batteries. I had two when I just had the a7 III that and now I bought, uh, well, no, this one came with one, so I have three. And I don't know if I need more. First day I got this camera, I put a, a fully charged battery in there. That battery lasted me probably four to five days so far. I will be blatantly honest with you. Whereas with the 6300, I'm going to be used up with this battery before this interview's over. It's not an interview, but vlog, talking head, me talking, holding cameras. You get it. So all in all, Thank you for watching. If you like what you see, hit that subscribe button, punch that notification bell like they like to say, and um, come back. Mess with me, man. We're just getting started. I'm going to show you guys some behind the scenes, some photo shoots, some music videos, some me shooting birds or something, just playing with cameras and toys. I got a lot of lenses we can talk about. Stop it.